Captain on the bridge. Ori captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we are finally back on the PC bridge. And it is Star Trek Online's Ascension content drop. So we did a video earlier saying that we weren't going to do the featured episode. But I can't help it. We may run into some problems. We may not. Not sure what's going to happen, but we're going to do this. So just like what we did with our previous playthroughs of the other featured episodes, we're just going to go through it and give our reactions throughout and see the next part in this storyline. So we will go do the hailing of the hail. And we'll probably drop some EC nuggets here and there. So here we go. So the Terran Campus. So we went all throughout these all episodes. And so far, I've enjoyed the story arc. I really have, especially with this whole thing. So now that we have Emperor Will here, I think in this universe, he's going to tell us to shut up. But we'll see. So we read this. Eye of the Storm. The other is an entity of tremendous power and driven by rage and the thirst for revenge on its creators. The Terran Emperor has summoned the other to him at Pavo in the Mirror Universe, and he has designs for it. The Federation has assembled to a fleet to stop the Terran Emperor, but perhaps the other is the one that needs to be stopped. If either of them fulfills their plan first, we all lose. So let's go contact Admiral Quinn. the Terran Emperor from subjugating the entity known as the Other. I'd like you to be a part of this operation. Report to Captain Sean on board the USS Enterprise once you've arrived in the Pavo system on our side of the mirror. Ooh, so, get to so what's our reward here? So the Terran Emperor's uniform? <laughs> yes! Okay, well there we go. We're going to be able to get this uniform for free. That is awesome and worth doing this regardless so let's accept that bad boy seems like the volumes are a little too low here so let's fix that so the audio put up a little bit here voice volume is already so that should be good we'll adjust it later if we have to All right here we go <laughs> i was just saying in the video that i hope that I hope we get that uniform and we get it for free. I ha I love this image. And yes, captains, we will be doing this in our Sagan. So let's go. Love this image. Love this artwork. Oof, we're back on the Odyssey Bridge. This is awesome. Now I has ideas, but let's just go, Caps. Welcome aboard. We can begin the briefing once Admiral Lita decides to grace us with her presence. Unclear. For some reason, she wanted to go over things here rather than on a secure comms channel. True, and the stakes don't get much higher than they are now. Incoming signal from the Enterprise. Uh, that is to say, the ISS Enterprise. Admiral Lita requests permission to beam aboard, Captain. Looks that way. Permission granted, Kiona. Instruct them to beam her directly to the bridge. Ready to get to the bottom of this Terran cloak and dagger? Why, why can't you say it? Why, why can't you just say it? It's right there. Well, this certainly is a clean bridge, Captain. No blast marks, no blood stains on the carpet. To remind people what happens to traitors. I'll be sure to forward your feedback to Starfleet Command. In the meantime, I suggest going over any last-minute details we need to ensure... Uh, Captain, Captain, please. I've been in every tactical meeting you have. I know the score here. We're going back to my Pavo to engage the Terran fleet in battle before the Emperor can pull off whatever mad scheme he's conjured up. It's a bold, mad, and extremely dangerous plan. 
must be why I like it so much. I realize defeating the Emperor's fleet is a tall order, but we're hoping a victory at Pavel will give Ilea the opportunity to make contact with the other once more. Convince them that we're not their enemy. Taking down the Acheron isn't going to be easy, Captain. We Terrans have a saying, if you mean to slay the Emperor, don't miss. <laughs> Believe me, when I get the shot, I don't plan on missing. When you get the shot, not if? <laughs> You're awfully confident, Admiral. Mm, let's just say you don't get as far as I have in the Terran Empire without having a damn good backup. So, you do your part, Captain, and I'll do mine. Things go according to plan. We'll send the Emperor back to Terra with his tail between his legs. And give your bald friend here a shot at talking down the other before they digitize us all. Oh, he's... Huh. She's definitely up to something. I don't like it. I will say, I love her voiceover. She really does give it all. I'm glad she's still here in this arc. Sir, I recommend assigning a team to monitor the actions of Lita's vessel. If she means to turn on us, or quit the field, we'll want to know as soon as possible. Under the circumstances, I think an extra layer of security is a good idea. Make it happen, Kiona. I don't have a good feeling about this. Lita might decide it's in her best interest to side with the Emperor. Old habits tend to die hard, after all. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. In the meantime, we should make our final preparations before we set out for Pavo. See you there. We don't get to speak to Ilea. I... I wish I could. I, I wish I had that bridge. We can have that bridge sooner than later. It is such a good looking bridge. Yeah, her voice over Chase Mashin is really good. Everyone's reporting in. Final preparations are wrapping up, and the fleet will be underway soon. Acknowledged. Once we're on the other side, each squadron will form up around their assigned intel ship. Keep them in one piece. They're your ticket home. Our primary target is the ISS Acheron. She's the Terran flagship, commanded by the Emperor himself. We've identified a large number of capital ships and escorts in place to protect the Acheron at all costs. Expect heavy resistance. This is it, everyone. Good luck. We'll see you on the other side. Enterprise out. Enterprise to fleet. Prepare to get underway. That is so cool that we have those two enterprises. Looking forward to a rematch oh. with the Terrans. We have the I know we are. We have the Cali class. Oh. Got you to fleet. Intel vessels are standing by to generate the portal to the mirror universe. The honor is yours. We'll open the portal on your mark. Oh, that is awesome. Cheese. Oh, that looks so pretty. Attention Terran forces. This is Captain Bakel Shan. On behalf of the Alliance, I am asking you to stand down and disengage from the entity known as the Other. Any further attempts to subjugate this life form will be considered an act of aggression and will be dealt with accordingly. Tough talk for someone about to have their backside handed to them, Captain. Check your sensors. There's no way you're getting the win here today, even with two Enterprises. 
<laughs> you still haven't figured out Starfleet, have you, Sylvia? Let me break it down for you. Sean's little speech was the velvet glove. If you don't shut up and stand down, you're about to meet the Iron Fist. <laughs> Funny thing about iron, Lita, it melts. And all of you idiots just flew into a crucible. Maybe we'll forge what's left of your ships into something useful when it's over. Or maybe we'll leave the debris field here as a monument to your complete and total failure. Tilly out. So much for diplomacy. Looks like they're going for our intel ships. Naturally, Terran captains will be looking for the big kills of the rest of the Emperor. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. laggy. Let's make sure we deny them that opportunity. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of pew pews. Status report. What just happened? Every ship in the fleet is trapped in chroniton stasis. For lack of a better term, we're stuck in a time bubble. Captain, we're being hailed by the Emperor. On screen. <sighs> Your Majesty. Captain Sean. You fought well, all of you, but it's over. All good things must come to an end, after all. Over? This isn't over. It'll be over when we knock that smug look off your face. Well, you're certainly welcome to try when I return, Admiral. For now, however, my destiny awaits. <laughs> Main turn. Oh, geez. Okay. Taking a lot of fire over here. I got you. Assist Admiral Lita. Juno, hurry. Fall back to protect the intel vessel.
Like me. At last, the very core of the other. Their mind, heart, and soul all lie ahead. There for the taking, for the one with the strength to reach them. Majesty, with your power we cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. We are the kings. And you, all of you, are pawns. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. Okay, yeah, that was meant to be me in that scene, so that scene was a little bugged there, but we are back. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core, and the other won't make it easy for me. Do your jobs, and we won't have a problem. Fail me, and the other will be the least of your worries. I'm picking up an energy signature nearby. It's repeating, like a signal. Someone wants our attention. Check it out, Inquisitor. As you command, Majesty. I love that uniform, just saying. Is it making a bridge for us? Interesting. Let's hope it doesn't vanish beneath our feet. They could dematerialize a lot of things. The bridge, the air, us. Interesting gambit, wouldn't you say, Inquisitor? My opponent is welcoming me with open arms. May I remind you, Majesty, that a successful gambit involves an initial sacrifice in order to gain the advantage later in the game. That's a good point. I'm looking forward to seeing what our host has in store for us. Let's not keep him waiting. That central structure looks important. Tilly, analysis. It's loaded with energy, hard to get a clear reading. We need to get closer and scan it. Clever. The other has centralized the island's power within this matrix. We'll need to disperse it in order to advance. There are six exterior power nodes surrounding the central matrix. We need to energize them and initiate a power transfer from the matrix. I suspect the other will reverse the polarity in active nodes once it becomes aware of our actions. If it does, reinitiate the transfer as soon as possible. Once all six nodes have been energized, we'll be able to move to the next island. Keep your eyes open for any defense systems, Inquisitor. The other might have more tricks up their sleeve after all. Who knows? He might get to shoot something and show off some more for the Emperor. Hey, try not to get fried by those power nodes, Inquisitor. That would be just... terrible. Save your spite for the enemy, Captain. Is it just me, or was that a little too easy? Ah, countermeasures. Destroy that drone before it undoes your work. Sentry drone. These are those bugs that we're going to be able to get a kit for. Oh, 
another drone. Take it out. Quick. Some more. Oh. I forgot I had those. Just one more left. The power of math and work. Impressive. Did they reset the other one? Come on. Well done. There you go. The remaining drones so we can move on, as I predicted. Once the power was dispersed from central to the power nodes, the island's operations returned to normal. Triborders picking up another one of those command consoles nearby. It's online and ready for action. See it? The control pillar. Right over there, Inquisitor. Ooh. I'm getting Superman vibes here. Like his island. Deal with the new arrivals quickly. Swing your knife there, Triz. Good job. The other has locked down access to command systems on this island. We need to destabilize local data security in order to advance. There are three data security locks. Introduce intrusion programs into them to disrupt them. You'll have to do this one lock at a time. Disrupting one will open the next to attack, and so on. This level of hacking will take time. Considering what we've experienced so far, it's a sure bet the other will send more drones to stop us. So, you know, keep your guns handy. Get started, Inquisitor. Everyone else get ready to fight. The other won't take kindly to our intrusion. Take out that defender. Be really nice if I could use my my actual ground loadout those things these things wouldn't stand a chance against the shark's cannon just saying where's the other one go back up here or what 
cow. At least we're not getting interrupted here when we're trying to activate consoles. I do not like that mechanic. More and more. Be nice if I can put this on a keybind, but this is old school. Get him, get him, get him. Now. The last lock has been taken out. We are in. Did it. Local data security has been utterly disrupted, and the command systems of this island belong to us now. Confirmed, Majesty. The access pillar is operational and open for business. Move out. Get to the next island before the other can regroup their forces. Deal with them. As you command, Majesty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? What is that? What is that? Ah! I want one of those. Can I has? I want that. Hmm. Now this is an unexpected move. This access tower is keyed into my genetic profile. If anyone other than me attempts to use it, a self-destruct sequence will be triggered. They want to test me personally. Hmm. A battle of wits. This is probably an attempt to checkmate me, so to speak. So, while I play this little game, I need you to deal with any defenses the other sends our way until I turn the tables on you. We'll wipe out any vermin that dares to attack you, Majesty. You can count on us. You heard the Emperor. Protect him at all costs. Now. Jeez. That didn't take long. Light him up. Watch your flanks. They're coming in from all sides. Your last breath. 
Sorry, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. That looked, that did look a little painful there. I'm only going to say this once. I'm disappointed. Disappointed in all of you. I would expect Terran officers of your caliber to be capable of fending off a few combat drones. But sadly, that was not the case. Instead, I had to intervene and use some of my personal power to eliminate power I could have used in the upcoming conflict with the other. Dang. If you do, it will be for the last time. Nothing else matters but my conquest of the other. Do you understand? Not you, not Tilly, not the Empire. Nothing. We will see this through to the end, Majesty. And your inevitable victory for the Empire. <laughs> he looks scared. Captain yeah. Warren. What? Make it quick. We don't have all day here. I have concerns about the Emperor's state of mind. He seems erratic, unstable. If his condition deteriorates, our mission and the Empire itself will be in jeopardy. Pretty bold of me to talk at a time like this. You are dancing very close to treason, Inquisitor. Because we need you to pull this mission off, I'm willing to ignore it once. But if I hear anything like that, of my future. So, are we clear? Let's get moving. Find the next bridge control and activate it. Don't keep the Emperor waiting, Inquisitor. You're in enough trouble as it is. We're in the same boat, Captain. Don't forget that. We'll see about that, won't we? This is in thanks. In thanks. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. I want that ability, that red electrical thunderstorm thingy. I want. Scan the area. Let's see what the other has in store for us here. Don't bother. I've already run a scan. I'm reading a dangerous buildup in the island's plasma injector systems. This looks intentional. <laughs> the other's about to turn the island into a plasma oven in a desperate attempt to slow us down. There are a number of heat dissipators on the island. I believe the other will trigger them to flood the area with intense heat and roast us alive. Damaging the dissipator units will engage automatic safety protocols and force them to retract. Once we've done that, to all of them, Island will enter a cooldown cycle and we can advance. Okay, let's do this and do it quickly. I'd rather not get burned alive if you don't mind. It wouldn't be a party without the drone. Avoid the heat style.
No, 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 no. Enough banter. The dawn of a new age begins. Wish they could fix that when there's overlapping of a new voiceovers. A age for you, Majesty, and for the Empire. Why the long face, Inquisitor? Our stars are on the rise here. You're delusional. There's only one star here, and it's about to go nova. Jeez. No, 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 no. And here it is, the machine within the god, Conqueror Six, sent from Terra long ago to seek out new worlds, worlds ripe for conquest. And now, thanks to me, it will fulfill its purpose at last. you're on well what do we have here you do realize that if crusher pulls this off we're all done for right i'm thinking we don't give him the chance we <laughs> there is no we here just a traitor surrounded by loyal terrans do the math idiot you're outnumbered and outgunned it's over <laughs> is it now I'm not so sure about that. See, there's a new goddess in town. Bow down! Or be destroyed. <laughs> Flame on. Let's go. I expected. Uh, where'd you go? Get her! No. Oh. Oh. 
You turn into a Marvel uh, Flame, Mr. Flame. Mrs. Flame, I guess. Ah. Ow, 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 No, get her. Ow, ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Better burn out than hit her hard. You get her? Woohoo! You waited this long to take it. Better late than never, eh? Okay, now what? I have an idea. It's a long shot, but it could work. I'll be in touch. Assuming you survive this. Defiant, one to beam up.
The Terran reinforcements are about to arrive. We'll need to deal with them as fast as possible if we're going to have a shot at helping Ilea reach out to the other. Something is wrong. There is an unusual energy surge at the center of the other. A confluence of great power is happening. Here they come. All ships, battle stations. Oh, that's a lot of PPUs. Leah, what is it? The other has merged with the Emperor. We must leave, Captain. We must leave now. Enterprise deplete. Initiate emergency transit. I think I have to change my uniform. Um, before we go over, I want to see the ships we have here. So we got a California class. I want to see the ships here that they include in this fleet because this is absolutely awesome to include this. We got a Sovereign. Got the Eclipse there. Of course, the Enterprise, another Eclipse. The IS, S Enterprise. Saber, another Eclipse, a Guardian, got the new Shikar, Nova, and a Gagarin. Love it. Love the inclusion of all these ships. Of course, the new Vesta over there. What is that? Oh, the Reliant. All right. Oh, and the Cheyenne. Love it. As I said, the conflict between the Emperor and the other is not over. 
they are not of one mind. Yes, but if they are fully merged, they will only be vulnerable to a tremendous level of power. Power even a massive star fleet cannot generate. I know of only one source of power strong enough to stand against them if that happens. Correct. I will go to Vija and seek their assistance in this conflict. But they are far from here. It will take time. Vija is a logical being. I believe it will realize the danger posed by the power of our enemies. A power that grows in strength with each passing moment. Such a power, driven by cruelty, cannot be unleashed. It would be the end of all things, even Vija. I've received word from Starfleet Command. Every ship in the fleet is on alert. It's the same story throughout the Alliance as well. At this point, the Admiralty believes it's not a matter of if the Emperor will attack us, but when. Tactical analysis teams are running simulations as we speak, based on every bit of intel we have. He has a keen military mind. I figure he'll start with our major star bases, shipyards, fleet supply stations. Anything vital to mounting a defense in key sectors. At that point, there won't be much to stop him from eliminating the capital worlds. Being a Terran, I suspect he'll start with Earth. From there, he'll take out inhabited planets one by one, in all four quadrants, until there's nothing left. It'll be a state of galactic genocide. I really thought I had them, but the paw raised. It abandoned me. What's worse, just before I felt its presence leave me, I, I sensed fear in its mind. Fear of the Emperor and what he's become. I didn't think so either until today. If something that powerful is afraid, the Emperor and the Mother? Well, can't say I like our chances. We might not make it out of this one. This might be the end of days for us all. Easy for you to say. You weren't there. Even the Inquisitor was rattled. Might have been why you let me go. Figured the Apocalypse was an all-hands-on-deck situation and anyone willing to stand against the enemy was worth saving. Speaking of, might help against pressure. I'll let you know. One thing your mirror self is good at is eliminating problems. If they have something, well, <laughs> gives me something to look forward to in the face of multiversal Armageddon. Anyway, I don't expect we'll have to wait long for our marching orders. When the time comes, I'll be ready. Oh, that, okay, let's. Papo is devastating, and could be the first of many tragedies ahead. 
Every system throughout the Alliance is at a state of emergency. Top personnel are assembling to prepare a last-ditch defensive effort against the Emperor. From what we can tell, he's toying with us, heading toward his final destination, ignoring any forces that try to stand in his way. Slowly but surely, he's making his way to Earth. That's where we'll make our stand, and we won't be fighting alone. Make your way to the Sol system as soon as you're able. Win out. Oh, wow. Captains, that was an episode. Okay, before we give, we close out this vid, I will have to say that that was probably one of the best featured episodes that I've played. Now, I don't like the fact that when we switch over to the Inquisitor, we don't have our normal ground loadout. There was no ship combat in that sort of phase there but we did have at least our ship for our pew pews here in the prime universe the voiceovers like bravo i did not expect <laughs> wow it, like lita killy will they killed it they absolutely killed the voiceover and wow that was a treat of an episode in my opinion i'd have to give that close to like 9.5 the 0.5 is for me not having my loadout or our loadout but that was intense and it kind of makes you wonder where indeed this is leading but there you go captains that is the new episode there and i'm glad we didn't run into any bugs hopefully captains when you run through this you didn't either tell us below what you think and of this episode again i i have to give this a 9.5 i really felt all the voiceovers there again all of them killed it i think will did a really good do job there and i'm glad i sometimes don't do this with a camera because my mouth was open the whole time just in awe and shock especially what happened there to killy but there you go captains like the video comment below subscribe to the youtube bridge and we will see you on the next playthrough We'll leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.